the fact that you use just 10% of your brain is just a myth. This is one of the most persistent and common myths about the brain, especially in movies like Lucy or Limitless. So neuroscientists decided to verify this statement. They used tools for creating images and tracking the activity of the brain like PET or fMRI. And guess what they discovered? You use 100% of your brain all the time, even when you're asleep. The brain itself cannot feel pain. Because the brain has no pain receptors at all, it cannot feel the pain. The brain is just the tool used to detect pain. For example, do you know that sensation when you eat ice cream too fast and brain freeze occurs? That's not a pain in the brain, but actually in the outer covering of the brain. Technically, even brain surgery can be performed while you're awake and feel no pain at all. There was even a person who played the guitar during a craniotomy. Your brain has special neurons that make you imitate others. They're called mirror neurons and have been observed in humans, primates, and birds. They make people imitate the behavior of others. And it's so important that defects in the mirror neuron system can lead to disorders like autism. Some researchers in cognitive neuroscience and psychology stated that these neurons are important for learning new skills and understanding others in a more complex and authentic way. Your brain takes up about 20% of your body's energy. It's a well-known fact that the brain requires more energy than any other human organ. More specifically, 20%. Two-thirds of the brain energy is used to help neurons and nerve cells send signals to each other, and one-third is used just to keep the brain tissue alive, healthy, and well-functioning. The brain follows speech with high temporal fidelity. The researchers have found that your brain follows the words of someone's speech much more carefully and analytically than in any other situation. For example, if during a dialogue the partner pronounces the word table, you will analyze and perceive that word with a lot more attention than if you heard the same word in a song. Your brain cannot multitask. Cognitive neuroscientists solve the enigma of multitasking. You simply cannot do it. You could argue that you're actually very good at this and do it often, but you're not actually multitasking. You're task switching. That doesn't mean you cannot watch a show and talk to someone on the phone at the same time. It's just that you won't be as focused on either activity and you'll constantly switch from one activity to the other. Leave a comment and let us know. Do you still think you can multitask? Your brain begins to lose its memory abilities as early as 45 years old. A study of 7,000 people conducted over 10 years found that your brain begins to lose sharpness of memory and powers of reasoning much earlier than previously thought, even as early as the age of 45. Participants aged 45 to 49 had a 3.6% decline in mental reasoning, and patients aged 65 to 70 had a decline of 9.6%. Love activates a part of your brain which increases your motivation. When you're in love, a specific part of your brain is activated, the VTA region, ventral tegmental area. This is a central region of the brain's reward system associated with pleasure, focused attention, and motivation to pursue and acquire goals. So love is not only one of the most pleasurable feelings in the world, but it also helps you be a more focused and objective-oriented person. Isn't this amazing? Your brain can store more information than the largest database in the world. Your brain has 86 billion neurons and can store up to 2.5 million gigabytes of digital memory. To put this into perspective, the world's single largest database, owned by Yahoo, can store only 2 million gigabytes, 20% less than the human brain can store. Or take the IRS, for example, which tracks over 300 million Americans and can store only about 153,000 gigabytes. 16 times less than the human brain. Your brain prefers images instead of text. According to neuroscientists, in the case of information presented orally, 72 hours later, the brain will remember only 10%. Instead, if images are added, you can remember up to 65% more information. So if you have to choose between two courses, pick the one that presents images and you'll probably be more efficient in the learning process. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you're hungry for more information, watch these two personality tests and leave a comment with your score.